Welcome to an NFL recap video where I'm going to be going over the best from Saturday's action. Two games with high stakes and in game one, the Pittsburgh Steelers would get a win over the Ravens. Even though Lamar Jackson, Zay Flowers, some other stars were sitting for the Ravens, Kyle Hamilton there. But regardless, the Steelers are going to get a win that they needed. So they're going to have 10 wins on the season now. Mason Rudolph looks like their quarterback moving forward to end out this year at least, even though Kenny Pickett is expected to be the guy for the future. And now, they either have to have the Tennessee Titans beat the Jaguars or they have to have the Dolphins beat the Bills on Sunday Night Football in order for them to get in the playoffs. So they did their part. Now it's up to the other teams to do the things that can help the Steelers. The Houston Texans and Colts were playing in essentially a play-in play game for the playoffs. The winner advanced to the playoffs and clinched a spot with a chance to win the South if the Titans beat the Jags tomorrow. And the loser would be sent home. Now both of these teams have super bright futures. The Colts definitely have a big hire with Shane Steichen. They finished the year with nine wins, and they'll have the number four overall pick, Anthony Richardson, back fully healthy for the start of next year. But now I want to focus on the Texans because C.J. Stroud, Will Anderson, D'Amico Ryans, three people that were not in this organization as of a year ago. They got their new coach. They got their franchise quarterback, another franchise cornerstone, Will Anderson, among many other players. I mean, Nico Collins exploded today. Derek Stingley Jr. at cornerback has been great. And this is a team that if they didn't win the last week last year, they would have had the worst record in the NFL. So to go from that to being a 10-win ball club in one year, and this is with C.J. Stroud missing a couple games as well, that is just incredible. It's remarkable. It's an A++ season, and they have a super bright future. We'll see how far they can go from here. Now to talk some college football and draft stuff. This Monday, we're going to see a matchup between two quarterbacks that are going to be NFL players and Michael Penix Jr. and J.J. McCarthy. But there's a lot of questions about where they will fall in this year's draft. And ESPN draft analyst Matt Miller talked to some scouts about both of them. According to one AFC East executive, he compared J.J. McCarthy to Joe Burrow in that he has mobility, toughness, a winning mentality, and ability to hit every Every throw. Obviously, Joe Burrow was a consensus number one overall pick. J.J. McCarthy, there's some questions, but that comparison is definitely thinking highly of him. Then as far as Michael Penix, it's a lot more up in the air. One scout said he'd put him in the same range as Jaden Daniels in the pick 6 to 13 range, but a top 15 guy for sure. And then one different AFC scout said he would have a third round grade on Michael Penix, but he will go higher because of his position. The quarterbacks will always go higher, but that's the interesting thing because it looks like he can make every throw. He's leading this Washington team to possibly a national championship, a runner-up at worst. But then he also has had two ACL surgeries. He's been in college for six years now, so it'll be fascinating to see how all of this plays out for the future generations of the NFL.